welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a art project that I've wanted to do for a while with my dogs. I'm going to try it with my cats as well. So let's see how it goes. For this first project, I'll need a tray or a bucket or something that my dogs can step in to clean their paws filled with water, a small tray filled with paint that my dogs can step in, and the surface that I want my dogs to paint on. So I'm using this wooden butterfly that I've painted black. But any paper, also some treats, and a leash, just so they don't run around and get paint everywhere. So fill the smaller tray with paint. This is non-toxic paint and it will also wash with water really easily. So fill the tray with paint. I'm putting the leash on Penny just to make sure that she doesn't run around and get paint everywhere. I actually didn't really end up even needing the leash. She listened and stayed close, but just in case. I also am doing this outside. I wouldn't want to do it inside just because it could get messy. So with her leash on, I'm going to get her to put her paw in this tray of paint to cover her paw. Make sure that your dog's nails are trimmed, it will leave for a better paw print, and then get your dog to step on the surface that you want their paw prints on. So Penny knows the command touch, so if I say touch, she'll touch with her paw whatever surface, so I'm just telling her to touch the tray. If your dog doesn't know the touch command, you might need to take their paw and press it in the paint or use the leash to guide them or the treats to guide them to walk into the paint. Once I'm finished with how it looks, I just had Penny touch the bucket of water to wash her paws. I threw some cookies in there and she fished them out and she just got clean really easily. And then I just wipe her paw with a towel. Next, I wanted to add some of Millie's paws. So she was a lot easier. I was actually able to just take her paw and dip it in the paint and then press it on the wood. So she just let me hold her and do whatever I wanted with it. For this second project, you will need peanut butter. Make sure it is peanut butter that is safe for your dog to eat. Pieces of paper or I used kind of a poster board paper so that it was thicker. Plastic bags, Ziploc bags that can seal shut. And then some paints. These are acrylic paints that I'm using. First, make sure that your paper or poster board will fit in the bag and you're able to seal it shut. Put the paint on your paper, but leave it in kind of globs. I've placed it in a way that colors are next to each other that I think will look good when they are mixed or blended, so you don't want to put two colors that are going to create brown or gray or black together if your dog mixes the paint. And then spread peanut butter on the outside of the Ziploc bag. This will be where your dog is going to lick. And inside the Ziploc bag, slide the piece of paper with the paint. Be careful that you don't touch the top of the bag and spread all the paint or get it stuck. Millie's ready to try it out and Penny was really excited about all the peanut butter. So then just let your dog lick the paint. I put the plastic bag and paint on the clipboard just so that it had a harder surface and wouldn't move around as much. And just let them lick. Honestly, this didn't work out the way it was supposed to. They weren't putting enough pressure on their tongue when they were licking, so they weren't really spreading the paint around as I imagined they would be. So this project 
kind of was a fail for me. I was going to try this one with the cats, but after seeing how it didn't really work with the dogs, I decided not to try it with the cats because I didn't think that it would work with them either. They definitely needed to put more pressure on with their tongue to be able to spread the paint around. They spread it around a little bit, but not near enough to create any sort of picture or mix the paint or move the paint really. So this is how the first one turned out and I decided to put some more paint on and do it again just to see if it would work with a larger amount of paint. So I put some pretty big globs of green paint on, stuck it back in the bag and put more peanut butter on so they would lick it. It did work better this way but still I don't think it's really worth the effort and it didn't turn out the way I was hoping it would. Let me know if you tried this method and had any success or what I'm doing wrong. Maybe it's the wrong kind of paint that I'm using but it didn't really work with the acrylic or the non-toxic paint, which both had a different consistency. Thanks for watching. If you do any art project with your dogs, or your cats, or birds, rabbits, any animal, I'd be curious to hear about them or see them. I'm more likely to answer back or see what you're saying on Instagram, so I'll just leave this here. But please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.